Hey, what's up, Whiskey and Rum family? I am on an Air Asia flight inbound to Boracay Island, Philippines. By the way, flight attendants on this flight, just pointing out the obvious. I'll also point out that the seats on this airline are not made for large American males. They are tight for the capital T. So where are we heading this time? Well, we're leaving Angeles City in a hurry and <laughs> heading down to Boracay Island. I'll give you a little bit of an overview using my favorite Google Earth tool. This is where we're going, and this is what we're expecting to find. Whiskey and Rum is in crisis mode. The last video that I put out, Angeles City, the Philippines, there's the link right there. I've gotten several phone calls from friends. Have you lost your damn mind? When your girlfriend watches that video, she's going to kill you. And upon further review, they are probably right. So I need to push another video out quickly. Island, beachy, family-oriented video covering the tracks, literally. We are going to push this video through production just as fast as we possibly can. Angeles City. I don't remember making that video. It must have been a while ago. Potty of Thailand? Girls with squirt guns? No, baby. You must have been watching the wrong channel. I don't recall that video either. Okay, here we go again. Let's shuffle all the tourists into one big room, make them stand together while we individually verify everyone's COVID requirements. Vaccination cards, QR codes, passports. To me, this seems a little bit naive if you're trying to reduce the spread of COVID. But what the hell do I know? By the way, this is the ferry terminal. This isn't at the airport. We already did this at the airport. Now we're doing it again. Luckily, the hotel that I'm using is doing all of this for me. A lovely young lady is way up there in line. She has my passport, all my vaccination stuff. I'm going to go get a beer and relax until they're done with this. We are all good. All my paperwork checked out. Someday I'm going to tell you about that paperwork. Not today. There's the public ferries that take everybody over the island. But you guys know me. We have alternative transportation lined up. If any of you decide to come over to Boracay, go on Expedia or Agoda, look up Coast Hotel or Blue Marina. They're owned by the same group. They've got brand new boats in the water. Their crews are fully trained. Trust me, these guys know how to handle a boat. The only way to go, private transportation over to the island. I'll put links to both hotels in the description of this video. So that was a really fast crossing, less than 10 minutes. But I mean, you got 500 horsepower sitting on the transom of this boat. It, it'll get up and move. So we're already over here. Let's go and explore this island. I'm really stoked. I've never been here before. This is Blue Marina Hotel. I just want to let you guys know, 
I didn't touch my bags. The second I got off the airplane, there was a representative waiting for me. They got my bags. They helped me clear through the whole QR process. The room, incredible. The location, it's just a block from the beach. This is fantastic. I couldn't be happier. Now, like I said, I've never been here before, so this is going to be a different video. We're going to have to go out. Yeah, look at that. That thing's going to get eaten before the night's over for sure. Danny getting fatter. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have to go out and explore this beach together. Let me get my shit together, and let's go out and see what this thing looks like. All right, here we go. This is supposed to be one of the best beaches in the entire world. I've never seen it, so we're going to check it out together. Fingers crossed this was worth all of the trouble. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> we had a little hiccup. I just got waffled by a Japanese tourist trying to make a TikTok. But <laughs> so we're all right. I was filming. She was filming. We're good. We're good. All right. Let's talk about this beach. Jesus. Uh, I'm kind of at a loss for words. I mean, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's really beautiful. I don't know what these boats are either, by the way. So. I'm kind of struggling here. I've sailed just about anything on the water, but these things, A, they need a sail maker. It looks like they're just using tarps, but B, I'm going to sail one of these things before I leave this island. I promise you that. Mark my words, but yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, it is absolutely stunning. I think the closest thing, maybe one of the islands in the Abacos in the Bahamas, but I don't know, man. This, this, this might be the most beautiful beach that I've ever seen. It, it's, it's up there for sure. I, I don't know, you guys. I'm, I'm blown away, and you guys know I travel all over the world. Leave me some comments in, in the comments section. Tell me what you think. Well, it's pretty obvious why they call this White Beach. I mean, that sand is as white as it comes and look at that water wow and yes i'm gonna sail one of those damn things i'm telling you there was a point in time that evidently this island got so overpopulated with tourists that the government came in and shut it all down they shut it down until they could put sewage system in waste management and get everybody environmentally compliant. I'm gonna tell you, it shows. Look at how spotlessly clean this place. You can't even light a cigarette on the beach. You gotta go to a designated smoking place. And you throw a piece of litter here, God help you. You guys know I'm not one for government regulation, but at the same time, it can't just be the wild, wild west, <clears throat> Dominican Republic. Sorry, guys. Vacant beach bar? Yeah, that's got my attention. Ignore, ignore, ignore. Walk away quickly. <laughs> Don't tempt me at this point. Don't tempt me. Malibu's Boracay. I better go have a drink. Yeah, I better have two or three drinks. <laughs> it's in my head now. Bahamas meets Hawaii. That's the vibe here. Take the North Shore of Oahu, combine it with uh, Hope Town, Baker's Bay area of the Bahamas. That's the vibe, 100%. The color of the water, the whiteness of the sand, the mountains in the background, the palm trees. I also wasn't expecting this promenade that runs the entire length of the beach with all the vending, the bars, the restaurants. Very reminiscent of Cabarete and Playa Sasua, which, by the way, that rumor is still gaining traction that they're going to wipe all the retail vending and bars off of Playa Sasua to increase tourism. Well, this is the most popular beach on the planet. Seems to be working just fine here. Hint, hint.
So I've pretty much walked the entire length of the beach already this afternoon. I'm not going to video from one end to the other. That would bore you guys to death. But what I will tell you is that it is spotlessly clean. Everything is extremely well organized. The people are about as friendly as you're ever going to meet. And no loudspeakers, no hip-hop, no shitty Latin rap music, nobody trying to outblast the other person. It's a really nice beach atmosphere. This is what they should do in the DR. Also, have yet to see a fat chick in spandex. Just saying, just saying. All right, well, I think that's enough for day one. This should definitely get me out of the doghouse with the girlfriend. See, honey, I'm at the beach. Uh, I'm going to have some beers, and I'm going to work out the sailboat situation for tomorrow. This is definitely going to be at least a two-part video. I mean, there's maybe even three videos in this. We've just been to one damn beach. There's a whole island to explore. All right, got a hot tip from the bartender. Told me to come down here and talk to one of his buddies. We're all dialed in tomorrow. We're going to go sailing. It's going to be awesome. Now, for the rest of the night, yeah, I'm probably going to go get my drink on. Malibu's Boracay. Don't do it. Don't do it. I got to get that damn voice out of my head. So we can all agree that the last two videos I made, Padilla and Angela City, not family friendly, not by a long stretch. This place, 100% family friendly. I can't wait to bring my girlfriend and my daughter here. I mean, they're both going to absolutely love it. One last observation as the sun goes down on this spectacular day. There's a lot of tourists here. I mean, there are a lot of tourists here. I got to get out here and get a video of this for you guys. All right, bear with me. I got a cocktail in one hand, the camera in the other, as per usual. And I'm trying to walk across sand Weave in between tourists. Look at that. Oh, please forgive me for the stability issues with the camera. I'm really trying here. But look at that sky. It's amazing. All right. Whoa. So tomorrow, we're going to go sailing. I'm excited. I were, I've never sailed anything like that. So it should be fun. It's been an epic day. I love this place. I can tell you that already. All right, as promised, today we figured out a way to get on this thing. We're going to go sailing. I am so excited. I'm like a kid again. But by the way, I was sitting on the beach last night, and I was thinking to myself, wow, this would be the perfect place to have a Hobie cat, an 18-foot Hobie cat. That's what I had when I was in high school. You give me that thing here today, woo, we <laughs> get into some trouble. I see a Hobie out there right now. I think it's just a little wave. But if you've ever been on a Hobie cat, tell me. This would not be the perfect beach for one. Business idea in the future, perhaps. Danny's Hobie Cat Excursions. Book now at the new Malibu's Beach Bar, Boracay. Oh, my God. Honey, I have something to tell you. Hit the subscribe button, folks. This is going to get fun. Quick note here. Normally during editing, I would throw in some kind of snappy music in the background just to try to give this video a little bit more shine. I'm not going to. I'm a sailor at heart. I want you guys to hear the sound of the rigging. I want you to hear the sound of the water passing by the hull. That's 90% of the draw to sailing. Hearing it, feeling it, and seeing it. I'm going to do my best to give you that experience from this point forward.
And to be honest with you guys, I'd rather be doing this than anything else. Anything. And the videos with the girls always get more views, more likes, and subscribers. But this truly is. This is my life. This is what I grew up doing. This is what I love doing. If I got to pick anything to do for the rest of my life, be sit on a boat just like this. I'll put together a whole video of nothing but sailing this. I think it's called a Pawa, and if I'm wrong, I'll come back and correct that too. But I'll explain the rigging, how they sail it, all of that. That'll be a separate video. We don't wanna, there's just too much to cover for this one. This has been an absolute blast. I'm hoping that the camera and the sound are doing this justice. It's just been amazing. All right, I got to put all my camera gear away because it's my turn to sail this thing. I'm so stoked. Guys, that was absolutely amazing. I hope the footage did it justice. It was the most fun I probably had in a couple months. It really was. It was a blast. If you're on Boracay and you want to go out, come down here to where all the boats are. All the captains and crews are hanging around. Just go up to the guys and tell them what you'd like to do. 2,000 pesos will get you out for an hour. 2,500 for a sunset. Definitely worth it. Plus... Plus, they gave me a tip on how to get to a remote beach where there's no tourists. I'm going to go do that tomorrow, but that's a video for another day. This, this has got to be enough for one video. So we're going to call this episode one of Boracay Island. I'm going to go home, edit all of this stuff out, post it up on the internet before my girlfriend sees the other video and continue on our happy way. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. Make sure you follow along. Don't miss the next episode. Who knows? We may have a new beach bar to talk about. But yeah, signing off. Boracay Island in the Philippines. Peace and love, you guys. Thank you for checking it out.